Hello, Leo. Welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. This is for the week of September 25th through October 1st. It goes Sunday through Saturday. I'm going to pull an oracle to get the underlying energy for the week, and then I'm going to pull a tarot for each day to get the energy for the day. This is for Leo Sun Moon Rising. In fact, you might watch your Sun, your Moon, and your Rising to gain more insight and information of the energies coming in for you. Um, and these are general, so take them as they resonate. If you like the reading, hit the like button, share it with your friends, leave me a comment, say hello. I do welcome your interaction. And of course, you can hit that subscribe button or that notification bell. We're going to see what the underlying energy is, please, Spirit, for Leo for September 25th through October 1st. What is the underlying energy? What is the theme for the week? Activation, Spirit Guardian of Spring. Activation. All right, let me um, look that up. I've been reading her little write-ups that she has in the book. They're just short little write-ups. The Spirit Guardian of Spring says, Get ready. Big changes are ahead. Things that have been incubating are now coming to life. A profound transformation is ahead. Take risks. Keep going. Prepare for this time of upheaval, fluctuation, and renewal. And the end result will be glorious. And I like that. Things coming to fruition. All right. Uh, let's take from the tarot. Let's see what Sunday has, please, for Leo. What do we have for Sunday? What energy is coming in on Sunday for Leo? Please, Spirit. All right, Sunday. We have the Five of Wands on Sunday. Okay. Could be some challenges there, some conflict. Um, speak your truth. Stand up for yourself. But also... Be open to what others have to say. Okay. Um, perhaps be the ambassador of peace in the situation using um, diplomacy and tact. Be tactful. Uh, use and choose your words wisely in the situation. Is there a way you can diffuse the situation? Any kind of conflict that might arise. Speak your truth, stand up for yourself, uh, but do it gracefully and with consideration for others. Be the peacemaker here, but not by sacrificing yourself, okay? What do we have, please, for Monday? The moon, inner work, facing the shadows. Accepting every part of who you are. Embrace every aspect of yourself. Bring it out into light. Own it, acknowledge it, and embrace it. It is who you are. When we stop trying to hide those things and run away from them and we face them head on, that is when we can deal with things. That is when we can move forward, do the necessary healing, and make the necessary changes. What do we have, please, on Tuesday? The world on Tuesday. Opportunity, new beginning, new cycle. Um, things are moving in your favor. You have this opportunity to move forward in a new direction, a new phase of your life. Looking, um, being looked down upon with favor from creator and universe. The possibilities here are um, limitless. There's great potential in this new cycle. What do we have for Wednesday, please? The Nine of Wands on Wednesday. You have been passionate, following your desires, your passions, putting in the labor, 
um, perhaps to the point of exhaustion, maybe it's time to allow someone else to carry part of the burden, just part of it. You're not going to give up. You want to keep going because you're almost there, all right? You may be tired, but keep in mind that you are almost there. Whatever this is, you're almost there. On uh, Thursday, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Yeah. Allow that flow. Keep going, following your destiny, following the path the universe has laid out for you. Those possibilities, those opportunities presenting themselves to begin something new, a new phase, a new cycle, a new endeavor, a new chapter of your life. Stepping into um, this new opportunity to create something. Let me see. What do we have Friday, please? The Eight of Cups, yes. Stepping into this opportunity, leaving behind those things that do not serve you. They are not in your best and highest good. Um, things that perhaps have been getting in the way of your forward movement, release, walk away. She's not even, she's not looking back. She's just walking away. She has no use for those things anymore. Walk away from what doesn't bring you joy, fulfillment, happiness. Uh, walk away from the things that are not part of the vision for your life, what you want for your life. Let them go. Without looking back, don't look back. You're moving forward here in these new, this new opportunity. Don't look back and dwell on the past. Keep moving forward. Saturday, the Seven of Cups. Choices, options. Don't be distracted. Focus. Focus your, your attention on the intention. What is your vision? What is your desire for your life? Focus your, your, atten oh, getting tongue your attention on that. All right. Don't be distracted. Pay attention to this new opportunity, this new phase, this new beginning. And don't become distracted. Become clear on the vision for your life and release what doesn't serve that. All right, what do we have in closing, please? Love. And do all things from a place of love. And I also want to say love and accept yourself unconditionally. Accept who you are. Okay, love yourself. Know that you are worthy. And um, as you love yourself, know you're worthy. That love will shine out into the world. It will um, have that ripple effect. Okay. Our rune is Jera. This is all about reaping the harvest. It's all about that prosperity, things coming to fruition getting what you've invested. This opportunity is coming in for you. This is what you've been looking for. Be ready for it. This is what I have for you, Leo. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed week.